Nottinghamshire, a county rich in coal. The fossil fuel is still used to fire major power stations and the county council, proud of its mining heritage, has retained its smaller coal-fired boilers to heat schools at a time when other local authorities switched to gas. Refusing to join the dash for gas, the council has now set itself up with a cleaner fuel and its commitment to biomass energy has kick-started an industry. Clearly being a mining county, this county council has always said that uh, uh, we wanted uh, to support local industry, local energy use uh, and we had a, a pretty strong solid fuel policy for all our buildings to be heated by coal. This is a typical coal boiler. Lawrence Dixon of Instatherm has installed many of these. This is, this is the clinker, and you see how it's a real solid, hard material, mm. just unburnt fuel. You can smell the sulphur mm. that's in the fuel. James Peacock's school had two coal boilers, but one has been converted by Instatherm to burn pellets of compressed sawdust instead of coal pellets. So we decided rather than replace them for gas installations, we would convert them or replace them for, for wood fuel. This has been converted about two, two and a half years, uh, where it's been successfully running on, on wood pellets. The control systems were updated to make it more efficient. This, is, this control panel here is controlling the building and this control panel here is controlling the, the wood pellet boiler. The boiler responds quickly to the demand for heat. A turntable inside makes sure all the fuel is burnt. The boiler is fully automated, with pellets being fed in from the bunker next door with a screw. Even the ash is removed from under the grate, making it very low maintenance. Basically, this boiler will run, you know, three months without any, any maintenance inside the boiler. Using wood pellets makes the conversion from coal straightforward. They take up less storage, probably a third less than, than, than wood chips would. So for us with quite a lot of primary schools for example, they're ideal. Uh, where we're using existing uh, solid fuel bunker facilities. Mornington Primary School is one of those with a purpose-built wood pellet boiler. Don't, don't, don't touch it now, that's quite hot. So what this pot, that, that, yeah, that's warm. Yeah, I didn't touch it. We reached the point where the school needed to consider the change of boiler. So what we did was we, we looked at the different options and the option of a pelletised wood one came in. Uh, and that seemed to be a good one because A, we were assured that the technology would work and it would heat the school. But the second thing is it did give us the chance to be able to demonstrate in a tangible way to the children that we were considering our own use of energy. We have coal sometimes and it releases like this carbon into the air. Our planet's getting warmer when we, when we release carbon. We like to have clean air going into us and um, it's just important for others as well. Nottinghamshire County Council has formed local partnerships to promote the biomass energy industry. Boiler manufacturer Hovell is one such partner. The factory in Newark has been making solid fuel boilers for over a hundred years and was keen to adapt. We found that the, the marketplace when you're trying to sell all these biomass boilers is far easier going into the, the old coalfield areas. The, the feed system is very similar, the air mixture is, is, is similar. So, you know, it, there's no black art to, to biomass, it's, it is just a, a solid fuel boiler and it just the fuel is different so you just change your design and your parameters to cope with the fuel. The fuel is also grown in Nottinghamshire. It's willow, grown as short rotation coppice and harvested every three years. Fred Walter is a grower and he's now building a pellet mill on his farm ensuring the whole carbon cycle is within Nottinghamshire. It's nice to be involved with a market that is on your own doorstep and you do have 
a certain amount of control over. Bioenergy is well proven, it supports an industry as well, a local industry, um, and you can actually see the old carbon footprint from the, the crops being grown in the first place to being transported to actually burn in boilers, so it's what we call carbon neutral.